Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 2 has been out long enough now that I think it's time we have an honest talk about the season's battle pass. Now I'm not going to sit here and say it's horrible or one of the worst I've seen because actually I feel quite the opposite. I love the direction they went with the skins this season and that's probably because I'm a huge fan of Greek mythology. But, and it's a big but, they definitely could have done better and I don't think I'm alone in thinking this way. Now obviously there will be more to come out and there will be different versions of the current ones, but I'm strictly speaking about what's available right now in the standard battle pass. Keyword there is standard because I won't be bringing up the bonus rewards, quest rewards, or Korra. Those will be reserved for a future video as they continue to be rolled out. If you were aware of the survey skins and leaks that were making their rounds on social media during the months leading up to the Myths and Mortals season, you know that there were some skins that I think a lot of us were looking forward to and some others that made us scratch our heads a bit like what are they thinking? So what we're going to do is compare images of some of those leaks to what we actually got in the battle pass and either give it a W, let's just call it a dub, or an L. With that said, let's jump right into it. First up, we have Cerberus. It's not the greatest image quality, but you can still make out what it could potentially look like. Definitely a fan of the survey skin, so this one should be pretty easy to figure out. It's a dub. It looks just like it did in the survey, and regardless, it came out looking really good. I love both the flames and the glow it has. Then to top it all off, on the next page, they hit us with the Immortal Cerberus. They really killed it with this one. The gold and the blue look sick, so I don't think I need to say much more. It's W's all around for Cerberus. Next on the list is Aphrodite. Looking at the survey skin, it looks pretty cool, although as the goddess of love, lust, and plenty of other things, I was hoping they'd take it a step further. So when we flash forward to the final result, I'm giving this one a no. It just doesn't stand out to me, and even worse, it looks like they took away from the outfit and the hair we saw on the survey image. Then we get to the immortal Aphrodite, and they made up for it on this one. It has insane colors that make it unique, and falls more in line with what I would imagine when thinking of the Greek goddess. This one's an easy dub for me. Okay, so we're on to Poseidon. As you can see, he wasn't on the survey. Now, this one's a bit more personal to me, because other than maybe Zeus, Poseidon, in my opinion, is one of the coolest Greek gods. As ruler of the seas, he has incredible power, and in every form of artwork or sculpture, he looks badass. I'm just gonna throw up a few things real quick to show you what they could have done. There were so many ways to go with this, and he could have looked absolutely sick. But instead, we got this. I know, I know, they had to give us at least one meme skin or whatever, but why did it have to be him? He could have been so much cooler than this. Even the immortal Poseidon doesn't make up for it. This is a big fat L and I do not care what anyone has to say about it. No amount of muscle could make up for what they did to my boy. I don't even want to look at this anymore. Moving on. I think we've all heard at least something about Medusa. You probably know her from the live snakes that she uses as hair or that she can turn people into stone. In the survey, she looks pretty good. I'm not sure what I was hoping for, but it's not too bad. When we flip to what they actually gave us, it's also not too bad. I'm gonna give this one a dub, but not emphatically. It's good, but not great. I think they could have let her hair stay out on both sides like the survey showed, and maybe done a bit more with the outfit, whether it be more snakes or stone related designs, but I'm cool with it because when her eyes change to red, it makes it all better. As for the next page with her Gorgon warrior skin, I'm not as much of a fan. Not that I don't think it looks cool, it's that it doesn't really play into the mythological background of her character. For me, that's enough to give it an L, but as a whole, Medusa's skins are fine. Like I said, good, not great. Now it's time for the God of Lightning. Zeus didn't have a survey skin, but unless they made him look like a cartoon character, I can't imagine they'd botch this one. And as expected, they didn't. Zeus looks great. And sure, there are ways they could have improved, maybe the hair, more on the outfit, maybe some voltage coming off of him instead of on his hands, but overall, it's a W. It's pretty tough to mess up Zeus. And speaking of messing up Zeus, let's see the next page where Zeus was messed up. Conqueror Zeus, I mean really, what are we doing here? They shaved his head and made him look like a military general. I just don't get it, huge L here. Goodbye forever, page 10. Next up, we have Artemis. I knew this one wouldn't be easy because there are a bunch of ways to go with her. The survey looks pretty cool because I like the look she had with the mask. It really gave me the vibe of Lunar Huntress. Now, when we look at the Battle Pass skin, admittedly, I felt disappointed at first. Don't get me wrong, the Starlight Galaxy body thing she's got going on is cool, but that was kind of expected. My issue is it seems they took away from the mysterious hidden look she had in the survey. She's just a girl with nice hair that I was more expecting on someone like Aphrodite. I'll circle back to this page in a second after we look at the Immortal skin. Immortal Artemis is a dub. The small addition of the face covering and hood give it the look I was hoping for from the survey. Now that I've seen that she has the option to put the mask and hood on, I can go back to the first one and also give it a W. I'll even rate this one better than the Immortal skin, and not because I think it looks cooler, but simply because the color scheme falls more in line with her place in Greek mythology. I realize we're probably tired of all the galaxy looks, as it seems to be a bit overplayed, but it does have a place with her skin, so I'm not upset about it being used here. So we're down to the last two pages of the battle pass. We all know who's left, but let's take a second to look at what we thought might be in store for us if they made Hades look like he did when these were leaked. I honestly could not think of a worse render of Hades. Like why does he look like the punk rock ruler of the underworld? 
Anyway, thankfully they went a totally different direction and we ended up with this, a masterpiece. At least compared to whatever that was that we just looked at. I like the idea of not giving him a face. I mean, he's the ruler of what is essentially hell. Why would he have a regular human face and look like a punk rocker or a hipster? Anyway, it's a clear dub. And while the last page doesn't have a different skin, they added a built-in emote that makes him glow green in a bunch of areas, which really adds to the darkness and underworld aspect. This one's also an easy W, so all around, Hades skins were a success, and I'd imagine Epic Games agrees since they put them on the last two pages. Okay, so that wraps up the battle pass for Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 2, Myths and Mortals. But real quick, before we finish up, I just want to take a look at some of the other characters that I wish they would have added. For starters, Ares. I know he's in the game, but as of now, it's not an available skin, so he's on here. The Minotaur. I would really love to see this added. I think they can make something awesome out of it if they do it right. Either Hermes would have been great, but preferably the one that looks more like the version on the bottom. The Hephaestus they use here looks crazy. I would absolutely love this skin. Dude looks mean as hell. Persephone just looks like she belongs in Fortnite, so I think she'd be a welcome addition. And finally, Apollo. I'm not a huge fan of this version, but there are plenty of ways to make the God of the Sun look good. That's all I got, so hopefully you enjoyed the video, and whether you agree, disagree, think I've absolutely lost it, or however you feel about Myths and Mortals, let me know. Thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you on the next one. Skull.